Hello there and welcome. This is Sheeta Hunter. In this video, we'll take a look at the Apple AirPods. Apple has ventured into the Bluetooth earpiece market before, but the AirPods are Apple's first ever stereo Bluetooth ear device. What makes uh, this work so well, all the bells and whistles, are facilitated by the W1 chip. You have optical sensors, motion accelerometers, there's one tap setup, automatic cloud pairing with your iDevices, uh, Siri integration, and there's seamless switching between Bluetooth devices. You can enable or pause audio in the AirPods just by removing them from your ear, and there is the ability to use one or both AirPods as a mic. You can also pair the AirPods with non-Apple or older Apple devices. In that case, the AirPods only work as Bluetooth devices only. To set up the AirPods, you need to have signed in to your iCloud account using an Apple ID. You will automatically pair all of your devices that are associated with that Apple ID with the AirPods. It's really quick and really easy. There are also gestures that allow the AirPods to work and I'll show you a few of those. The AirPods are supported using the following devices. Your iPhone models 5 all the way up to model 10. Your iPad your iPad minis, 2, 3, and 4, both iPad Air and iPad Air 2, and all of the iPad Pro models. The iPod Touch is supported, 6th generation. The Mac models, MacBook Pro, MacBook, and iMac with handoff support. Apple Watches, all models of the Apple Watch are supported. And Apple TV 4K, it automatically pairs with the AirPods as well, thanks to the latest iOS 11 update. Over on the left of the screen, let's take a look at what you will receive when you purchase a pair of AirPods. There's your box. You will receive a set of instructions, a charging cable, and here is your AirPods in the case. Uh, also on my screen here, I have a AirPods case that I purchased. I'll tell you about that a little later. Let's take a closer look at the AirPods in their case. The case has a charge port at the bottom. And I'm going to flip that open so that you can see the AirPods. In the center here, you have a charge indicator light. And I'm going to take one of the AirPods out of the case. And let's turn the light on. And you can see the charge connectors at the bottom. And here's the edge of the AirPod. In setting up your AirPods to work with your iPhone or other iDevices, you first want to make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. You can go to the control center by swiping up on your iPhone to make sure that the Bluetooth icon is turned on. You can also go to settings and select Bluetooth and make sure that Bluetooth is turned on here as well. Go back. And now you want to take your AirPods. You're going to open up the case and you're going to hold the case about two inches from the iPhone. So let me turn this off and so that you can now see what happens. You're going to follow the instructions on the screen. This is automatic. I'm going to select connect. And I'm then going to hold the button at the back of the device. And now it's connecting. It's done. That easily. When I press done, it goes away. And it also names the AirPods. It will take the name from uh, your iPhone or your iPad and give it that name and you can change that later also I'll also show you where that is so at this point you take one of the or both of the AirPods and you put them in your ears and you wait for a tone once you hear that tone they are ready to you so let's take a look at going to the Bluetooth settings on your iPhone and you'll see that my AirPods are now added and they are connected. 
I'm going to tap on the eye and you can see that there's a name there. I can change the name if I want. Also, if you go further down, you'll see double tap on AirPod and you can give it instructions on what you want it to do. For the left AirPod, I can choose to activate Siri, player pause, next track, so forth. So I want to activate Siri. And let's go back. For the right AirPod, when I double tap on it, I want it to play or pause whatever I'm listening to. And you can have automatic ear detection turned on or off. It will know when you pull these out of your ears and it will pause whatever it's playing. And the microphone is set to automatic by default, but you can either have the left or the right AirPod only to use the microphone, or you can have them switch off depending on which AirPod you take out of your ear. I can do commands such as I'm going to double tap. Siri, what time is it? Siri then displays and announces the time. You can also exact commands like play music, turn the volume down, create email or calendar event. You can also tell Siri through the AirPods to launch a certain app. Okay, so you've seen how easy it is to pair your AirPods to your iPhone. Now I want to show how you pair your AirPods to other devices that are signed in to your Apple ID. So on my screen, you see my iPad, my iPad Pro, and I want to use my AirPods with my iPad Pro. All I do is swipe up from the bottom to bring up the control center, and on the right-hand side here where you see music, I'm going to press the icon, and then I'm going to press the AirPlay icon, and my AirPods will show up for me to select them. Once I tap on them, they will now pair. Make sure you have the case open if you don't have them in your ears. And now I'm all set to listen to music or television on my iPad with my AirPods. Say that five times quickly. If you want to check the battery status of your AirPods, if you're near your iPhone, if you open up the lid, it will indicate what the battery status of your AirPods are. You can use both of your AirPods at one time or you can use one at a time. Depending on the battery percentage, you might want to charge one while you're using the other. The case also has a separate charge. So the case can be charged while you're using the AirPods. If you by chance misplace or may have lost your AirPods, I would say around the house or maybe in your car, I doubt if this will work if you were in a field somewhere. You can use Find My iPhone to locate them. So I'm going to launch Find My iPhone, and you'll see that all of my devices that are signed in to my iCloud account, my Apple ID, show up on my iPhone, including my AirPods. So if I click on my AirPods, it will give me the last known location of my AirPods. You can also tap on the Actions button down at the bottom and you can play a sound and it's not a terribly loud sound but it will play a sound to try to locate your AirPods for you to try to find them and then if you find them you can tell it to stop playing. Next you can unpair your AirPods. Unpairing your AirPods from your iPhone, your Apple Watch, or your Mac will automatically unpair them from all devices. I've heard that unpairing them from the iPad only, only unpairs it from the iPad. Now, a case cover. I got a case cover for mine because these little devices are slippery. And my case cover, and my case cover is from AHA Style. It's the full protective case cover. It's silicone with a keychain that I use to attach it to something in my bag. I don't have it slinging around <laughs> freely. I don't want it to fall off. So there's my review of the Apple AirPods. Do I like them? Yes, I love them. I've not had them fall out of my ears. They've been very freeing from the cable that you usually accidentally rip and you see your 
earphones or your iPhone go flying across the room. I love these, and hopefully this review was helpful to you. This is Sheeta Hunter. Until next time.